There we go. Hey, y'all. This is the guy shouting out from the Bronx. I am just chilling. It is exactly 2.13 in the morning, and I'm with my fabulous dramatic light, and I have now put on a T-shirt. I look more appropriate, but you know what? Listen, in the last, I was so happy to be able to uh, communicate with y'all and, and just talk because, mind you, look, I am uploading my video from my G1 song. I didn't even know that song would do that. And mind you, my video is on the TV. Look, it's on the TV. Stop being funny. No, but look. No, but see, I'm, I'm on my PS3. Um, you didn't know this, but PS3, they can look, you can watch videos and play video games and do a lot of do a lot of wonderful stuff. So you can go online and do all types of stuff. So I've, I've just been having a lot of fun with it on my Easter Sunday. So. Anyway, I wanted to um, simply say um, I hope everybody had a wonderful and reflective Easter Sunday. I did. Um, I went to early, 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 early church service. And then I came out and enjoyed the rest of the day. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. So look at here. I'm going to name this video. I'm going to find me an ugly ass man and be happy. Number two. Actually, it should be, I'm going to find me an ugly ass man and be happy. Video two, uh, the paper bag clause. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, look, don't act brand new. Yeah, the paper bag clause. You got to put a paper bag over his head. Just put it over his head. Yeah. And so, ooh, daddy, you just, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got to look the other way. No, but in all seriousness. In the last video, it was so crazy, and y'all know I'm so quick to get off topic because I, I have the attention span of a butterfly and the appetite of a shrew, which means I eat everything. But um, it was just, it was, um, I couldn't get on to because I was just so happy to hear from y'all, but, you know, do understand, well, happy to speak with y'all, rather. But in this issue, we're going to be on subject a little bit, on topic a little bit more. Look, do you understand something? Th the question that I posed uh, to all of you out there, in all honesty, are we lowering our standards if we decide to be with someone who is not, quote, unquote, attractive, as long as he treats us good? There is a lot. Now, let me tell you something. I'm not trying to beg on good-looking men. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to do that. But what I am trying to, what I am trying to do is open your mind and my mind both, because a lot of time I do these videos, it's not just helping you, it's helping me too, because I'm listening to myself talk inside my skull, so, so you know, that's some good shit, I'm going to follow my own advice, you know what I'm saying, but I'm thinking to myself, we get so wrapped up on looks so many times, and that shit fucks us up, so many of us out there would rather be with a no good ass, good looking man, than be with a ugly man, that treats us like we, you know, like we are, like we should be treated. And then, and see, here's the, see, listen, 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 listen. Here's the flip shit. Here's the flip shit. When the ugly man treats us like, like the way we need to be treated, like, like the way we should, in all, in all honesty, be treated, then we look down on him. Oh, he's weak. He's a weakling. Oh, he, yeah, he's weak. Mm -hmm. Why do we do that? When I was much, much younger, I did that too. When I had them, when I had, I've come across, trust and believe, Sikai has made some, has made, you know, I'll be 40 come Tuesday, and I've made some, I've made many mistakes in relationships, and sad, sad to say, but I've let some good ones get away on that, on that same stupid shit right there. The same shit I'm telling you about right now, you know, man treats you good. And then you think that he's a weakling. Now, if a nigga out there, he's fine, and, you know, then he's playing hard to get and treat me like the way, I, the way you know, he's not treat me, treating me the way I need to be treated. Then you know what? Then that's a challenge. Oh, I like that. Yeah, he's hard, playing hard to get. No, I'm getting too old for that. I'm getting too old for that. You come correct to me. You show me that you love me, that you care about me, that you need me. And I'm going to do the same to you. I don't have time for these games. I just don't. 
I'm too old. I'm getting too old. You know, understand something. A nigga may look like I was born yesterday, but trust and believe I wasn't. I wasn't born yesterday. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm just, I'm getting too, let's put it this way. I know too much. I know way, way too much. And a lot of y'all, especially y'all, and there's some, there's some of y'all old, some old ones out there too playing the same ass game. Mm-hmm. And the game is, and I'm, and I'm going to clarify it, so make it crystal clear so that you totally understand where I'm coming from. The game is this. Well, if he treats me good, then something must be wrong with him. Did you sniff that? Sniff it. Did you sniff it? Did you sniff it? I'm going to say it again. Well, if he treats me good, then something must be wrong with him. You heard me, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Let me take my pipe. Y'all know I don't smoke these cigarettes no more. One time I had a, um, one of my girlfriends came on. She said, Sika, you look like you're smoking a crack pipe. I'm like, bitch, get out of my house. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm real. I get real frank with the tongue. I said, this is, not, this is cold, stone, cold tobacco. And then I had one old ignorant, uh, ignorant child, um, Mind you, if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see the pictures at that Christmas party that I was at. Well, one of them old Indian heifers going to tell me, oh, Sakai, that's jailhouse tobacco. You been to jail? I said, Coco. I walked up to Coco, my girlfriend. I said, look here. I need for you to hold me back because I'm about to beat this. I'm about to knock this bitch on top of her head for real. How you going to tell some shit like this? This is tobacco. I don't smoke them American-made cigarettes because, I know I'm getting off the subject, I'm sorry. But anyway, I digress. Look, you have to understand something. Just because he treats you good and with respect and dignity don't mean it ain't nothing wrong with him. And if you find something wrong with a good man that treats you the, the way you need to be treated, then it's something fucking wrong with you. What's wrong with you? And I'm telling you from experience, because I've, I've been there before. I've been there before. Nigga will basically drink your bath water, and you're looking at him like this. Ooh, what's wrong with you? You very desperate. Is he desperate for loving you? Is he desperate for loving you? What what type of trick are you to think that this good man that loves you is something wrong with him for loving you? No, you know what trick? Something is wrong with him. You don't deserve him. Uh, let pit him, pit that, pit that good big fish out in the ocean so I can snag him in my net. Cause I, I know how to take care of him. You, yeah, exactly. Pit him back out on the market. Pit him back out there. Cause I want him now. Exactly. Cause I want me a good man. But understand something. Keep in mind, I have, I've been the same exact way. I've been there. Be- I have been there before. I've been there before. I have. Looking at a nigga sideways when he when he basically treats me like like the queen, pun intended, when he's treating me like the queen that I am. Think it's something wrong with him. And the reason why, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. And I want you to open up your ears. Listen to me. The reason why is self love. That's the reason why I told on my, on my last videos, on my last account, I told a lot of y'all, I said, look here, before you bring anybody in your life, you need to get your shit together. Because you ain't going to be no good for him and no good for you. It's not going to be no good for you and no good for him either. I sound just like an occasion, didn't I? See, it comes out every once in a while. But it's the truth. Ash gives, as she want, you know, uh, to get ash, you need to give ash. You, to, in order to give love, you need to receive love, and that's some real shit. And a lot of us out there, in all honesty, feel that we're not worthy of love. We honestly do feel that, and that's and then we drag these men down. So, in order to tie all this whole subject around, I'm tired of dealing with sexy, fine ass men that ain't shit. Yeah.